telling me is I want to get off my butt. And I need to finally. All right, friends, we're on the zero day. We're looking at gear. What do we keep? What do we send home? Looking at the weather moving forward, I've got one more section, the Grayson Highlands. It goes up around 5,000 feet for about nine miles, I think. And uh, then after that, it's a lot lower elevation. Looking at the weather, I don't think it's going to be below 20 that whole time. And I'm planning to get up and over and down all in one day so I can camp at lower elevations. In terms of what I'm going to wear, I switched out to a new sun hoodie. It's only four ounces instead of six, and it's a lot faster drying. I've still got these in gen or these um, decathlon shorts, my um, headband, my sun gloves. I picked up these new thinner socks or these Ingenji socks. Both are thin. I think I can use them either individually if it's really hot, combine them or combine them with like um, my wool socks or my waterproof socks, depending on what's needed. So trying to get versatility going here. We'll keep the beanie and the possum gloves, the wool base layer, and this um, Cotopaxi puffer vest. And then um, I'll also have the wind pant and shirt, the rain gear, which is shirt, pants, gloves, and these waterproof socks. And then I'll keep this torrid jacket. It's just nice to have. And if we do do a colder night, uh, since I don't really have much of a fleece left other than this really light one I'm wearing, these two will serve the purpose, I think. And they're both only a hat, about eight ounces. I've got one pair of two ounce underwear and these shorts. Uh, I wish I could get rid of them. They're six ounces, but it seems like advisable to have a second pair. There was one pair at the local shop, but they were like $80 for three ounce shorts. I really wanted to do it, but I don't know. For three ounces, 80 bucks. Nah. Uh, oh, we'll wait. This is my lightweight fleece. It's the uh, Kuiwi one. It only weighs five and a half ounces. I gotta say, it's been an MVP piece of gear this trip. Um, I'll tell you more later. What I'm thinking about sending home today is my three, 13 and a half ounce fleece liner, which I've only used when it's below 20. And then these micro spikes, never really got to use those. I have an extra pair of three ounce wool socks. These four ounce ski gloves did fabulous during all that blizzard weather, but don't think we're having that moving forward. And then this was my wonderful, I think it's a Patagonia hoodie, but it's six ounces and it doesn't dry well. So I just don't think it's the right one for me on the AT. And then these um, light equipment puffer pants have done excellent when it was really, really cold. But again, I think moving forward, um, just not going to be enough weather to worry about that. What if it is a really, really cold night? Well, I have two options there. One, you can always bail out two a nearby shelter because there are not going to be that many of those nights. I didn't want to risk that early on because I couldn't afford a shelter every night or a hostel every night. The other option is you just uh, pack up and start walking because you warm up. We already know I can do 21 miles in freezing weather <laughs> with rain gear. Thanks to day uh, whatever that was, uh, 20 I think it was. So that is what I'm looking at doing It'd be a weight savings of about two pounds. That's including my adding of that new sun shirt and those other socks that I'm adding in. I'm still debating on these um, Under Armour hiking tights. I like them. They do better in cool weather. And I can put my phone in the hip pocket. But they are six ounces in bulk, and I don't know that I'm going to get to use them much moving forward, so I might drop them as well. Uh, the nice thing if I do all this is that I think I can get everything in my backpack now and not have to play an hour of Jenga every morning to try to get it in there. Excuse me, I think that would be Tetris as the analogy. Let's start with what I'll keep for cooler weather. So the Kuiwi 97 peloton fleece it's five and a half ounces no pockets it does have a hood uh the thing i've liked about it 
is it takes the edge off the cold on those cold days and when it was sleeting pouring it just added a little bit of padding for your core from the rain jacket so when the cold rain hit it it was just a little something there the cool thing is it dries really fast because it's so thin so i was able to kind of double use it um, if there was at least a break in the rain before being done hiking and sleeping so i just really like to utilize that these ski gloves eleven dollars from menards i felt like they outperformed all the eighty dollar fancy gloves from the different hiking companies and i didn't feel like any of those touch screen things you're paying for really worked so um i just felt that they protected my hands from the wind and the rain and the snow better than the others and they didn't weigh any more they're four ounces just like the other gloves a little bit more bulky but um yeah eleven dollars check it out three pounds going home fleece liner micro spikes heavy sun shirt winter pants winter gloves extra tights and extra socks All right, team. Tomorrow we go from Damascus to a highway about 72 or 75 miles away, where I think is the next easy on trail resupply. In my head, I think I might be able to do this in four days. So here's what the food looks like time to eat. try to walk you through what's going on in my head. We'll find out if I'm still there or not. So we have three of these one ounce oatmeals for every morning, which I figured I could put an ounce of these walnuts in, which would be pretty nice. And if I get any foraging, I could add some of that in there. That would be one meal. It could be breakfast, although I typically do something like that more late morning or actually lunchish because I'm usually too lazy to cook first thing in the morning. In the evening, I figured I would do one of these uh, tunas or salmon. So, yep, I'm getting fishy here. And a half a box of couscous, so that'd be three ounces. I won't take the boxes, obviously. They'll go into bags because they condense down a lot, which is helpful in my pack. And couscous also goes good with foraging if we get lucky. Then I've got a cliff bar for each day, likely to actually be my get up and go breakfast. Then these packs, turns out, were actually cheaper than getting um, the regular big Snickers. And for ounce wise, per cost, they were way less. So I'm going with these. It's basically two regular Snickers um, to divide up during the day. Then in the evening, I'll probably throw another ounce of walnuts in with the couscous to give it some more um, uh, nutrition there, some texture. I've got the sunflower seeds will be new. I really like the, uh, uh, the pepita seeds, but they didn't have any. So I'll do about an ounce of those each day. And then um, I've got these propels, a couple for each day. And a new trick bag of chips. I probably won't take the whole bag, but I'm going to crunch down a bunch of them and so it becomes a very small container and I'll just munch out of those. They actually, check it out, 150 calories an ounce. So when we're just going for calories instead of the uncalories like normal, not too bad. I'm going to try that out. Just be something different. And then found dark chocolate chips. I won't take the whole bag, at least some is trail magic, but I always like to have a little chocolate at the end of the day. We'll see if I make it the 75 miles. There are potential places where you can uh, get food along the way, like if you're willing to hitch or something like that. So um, I'm going to get the whole pack together, and if it's still feeling really light to me, I might throw a little bit more in there just so I don't have to worry about getting off trail. I just, I think it's silly to spend a lot of money to go off trail to get food if you don't have to. 
but I'm super excited about having a much lighter pack since I just sent home three pounds of stuff. Um, so see how that looks in the morning. So uh, I was at the grocery store today and my mind was racing. Like, what else could I do? Are there other bready type things that would be instant or whatever? Oh, it reminds me. I knew I forgot something. I'm going to lug up these uh, nuns. They're um, actually fairly protein and calorie rich. And what I'll do with that is I'll put the couscous in there. If, if I get foraging in there, mix it in with some nuts and it'll feel like a real meal. Middle Eastern type thing. So I'm very excited to try that out. If you have other food ideas for me that I could potentially try on trail, let me know. I do not cook any food in my pot. I keep it clean. It's just for boiling water. Um, that way it's always clean. I can leave it in my tent and things like that. So gotta be creative here. It's a sweet potato. It was a microwavable one. I love potatoes. So I'm just having one. So basically on this Nero and Zero, I've actually only gone out to eat that first morning for breakfast. The breakfast here was outstanding and I get another one tomorrow. Uh, so basically, I'm eating grocery store food, um, just trying to get my system back in line. So I am eating a lot, but I think I'm spending maybe less than going out to eat all the because I bought a lot of food and trying to get the calories uh, back up. I'll gain a little weight while I'm here.